The character of Don Giovanni is very cunningly written because in some ways the piece is a comedy. You laugh at the situations that you see these characters in because you recognise the situations and you recognise how absurd they are. But it's difficult to laugh all the time because the opera starts with a rape followed by a murder and Giovanni is the perpetrator of both those crimes. Uh, but just like in Richard III by Shakespeare or in Othello with Iago, you get these extraordinary villain characters in great works of literature and the audience wants to hate them, but there's something charming about them as well. And by being charming with the audience and with the other characters, Don Giovanni somehow makes the audience morally complicit in what he does. You laugh along with him. You think he's kind of cool. But then you think, oh my God, he's doing these awful things. He, that's not cool at all. So the audience get pulled apart morally. They get to have to question what Don Giovanni is doing and take a, a view on whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. The process of working on this piece, I suppose I started talking in earnest to WNO about it a year and a half ago, maybe even two years ago. And then I started having conversations with the designer, John Napier, about a year ago. And we started talking about exactly what we wanted to see on stage. But really in the last six months, we started to finalize what the images would be and therefore what the set would look like. And simultaneously to that design process going on, the Opera House and I were collaborating on getting the casting right, getting the right singers, um, and talking with the conductor. I have to have a very good relationship with Lothar Koenigs, the conductor, because he's responsible for the music, I'm responsible for the staging, but they are, are of equal importance. If, if anything, his job is even more important than mine. So he and I have to see eye to eye, so we met a few times to talk about the piece and how it was going to work. So it's a very complicated business. To some extent, a director is an arbiter. He has to be flitting between all the different, different uh, artists, making sure that everybody's happy doing what they're doing. The audience is sitting in the Millennium Center for this production. One wants to transport them into the world of Mozart so that they are right there. They're really feeling oh my God, I know how, why this guy wrote this piece. I know, I can imagine what it was like when he first put pen to paper and started working on it. So that the experience of watching and listening to an opera is immediate, it's visceral, and it gives instant pleasure. And you get lost in a world that is bigger than you, more amazing than you, that has theological, artistic, moral ramifications that take you completely out of yourself.